My name is John Barry. I'm president and CEO of Wings Over the Rockies Museum here in Denver, Colorado. And we're gonna go behind the wings on an epic adventure of how this airplane was built by students. And I'm gonna to get to fly it. Clear for takeoff. I hope they got this river right. <laughs> okay, all right, Dave. You know, you've been the uh, leader of this whole project, you know, as we go along. So let's talk a little bit about the, uh, what's the mission? What, what do we try to do here? The basic mission of what we've done is to fly the airplane yeah. that a, the students have built from, uh, from scratch. Yeah. The sub-missions, of course, are tool skills, uh, yeah. working together on projects, mm -hmm. communication, yeah. reading build manuals. And not only have students worked on an airplane and helped build this, but some of them have got our scholarship and are actually becoming pilots. The RV-12 is a home build kit. It's labeled as experimental underneath the FAA. And this is considered a light sport aircraft, um, which means that you don't have to have a full private pilot's license in order to fly it. Whoever we sell it to, they can put it on a trailer, fill it up at the gas station with their car, and bring it to an airfield and fly it. We're definitely on the home stretch now. We're really, really close. It's really exciting. Everything's coming together. In the last couple of years, you're always making progress, but now it's like smaller things, and you don't always see it. Like a light turns on, or like, the engine turns on, you're like, oh my gosh, we did that. And it's so rewarding. It's been a roller coaster. But now at this point in time with it, about four weeks from going to the airport, this is getting exciting. In the beginning when the first crate came, I was kind of looking at the crate, you know, wow, we got our work cut out for us. trying to keep myself you know, calm and all that stuff because uh, we need to get this done in the best possible way. This is the final stretch. What we're doing is we're moving the plane to another location of the museum and what we're doing is we're going to finish the airplane there so that it can be you know, a functional airplane and fly. We are now beginning the unloading of the airplane and we're here at Exploration of Flight. Uh, hopefully we get it out in one piece and then we can start working here on engine testing and hopefully get it flying. I think it's a really big day for us as students to get this airplane down to a real airport. If we can build an airplane, we can really do anything. The next things we have to do is just throw on the wings and run the engine test and avionics and all that and then we'll be able to do the maiden flight. Okay. The goal for today is to start the engine. We've done a lot of pre-work on the airplane, testing all the systems, the batteries and all that. Everything checks out good, so we're gonna take it out on the ramp and fire the engine up. I'm really excited that nothing went wrong and everything looks okay, and it's really just a big old relief that it started well. Wow, what a milestone. It's leaps and bounds they've come you know that far in this build and the progress that they have made in these years is phenomenal but it's taken a village to get this far and we got one heck of a village today january 5th we're going to get the wings out of the wing racks that we have and install the wings uh, onto the airplane one of the wings went in well the other one is not quite fitting how it should be today it's just getting that perfect alignment between both of the wings and the two attachment points in the fuselage it's the first time i've seen it with the wings on ever so in the two years I've been on this build. Within the end of February, we should be able to fly. And obviously you have uh, Mr. Barry coming down, making sure that it's okay for him and since he's gonna be the one flying it. Um, so his constant eyes watching over us is also kind of that little bit of booster telling us that we're right there. 
Well, after three years, uh, the airplane looks like an airplane, uh, especially with the wings on. So the young people who have been working on this for years have done a fantastic job. And our adult supervision, you know, the volunteers have been able to make this thing happen as a reality. So what better way to, you know, teach somebody about an airplane than have them build it? And uh, we're looking to fly this airplane probably by the end of this month. And then we'll go through a series of tests. So engine runs and engine runs, taxi checks, taxi checks, and then finally we'll fly it and uh, probably put about 10, 15 hours on it before we finish all of the certification requirements that uh, we have to go through. Yeah, it's going to be great. And it's going to be great to get in the air. It's just really amazing to see it go from just like these boxes and these parts to like an actual plane. And that's just been such an amazing experience. I think it's not really sad that it's done and not really a relief that it's done. I think that reaching the milestone of building an airplane is incredible. I'm just really excited to see it fly. We're at Centennial Tower, uh, RV-12, November 1719 Whiskey, is heading to the southeast to the practice area for Hoover's. You know, it's really, it's a really different moment when, uh, when something you built and kind of put your life to, you know, rolls down the runway and is uh, gone. It's just been quite the journey for us students. I don't think I'd ever ask for another experience. This is us right here, 1719 Whiskey. We just took off out of Centennial and we're flying south right now, going southeast to our practice area to perform some test maneuvers. All right, I'm peeling off to the right now. Okay, we have completed all the maneuvers for today. We're heading back to Centennial Airport and we have an airplane that is just flying great. I've learned countless things on the build that will definitely help me in, in the future. It's a very delicate process that I've loved being a part of. That it's extremely exciting to know that something that you're building and working on is going to be used in the real world. So we're safely back on the ground. Congratulations, <laughs> we would. We're really glad. Listen, if you haven't subscribed to uh, Wings of the Rockies and Behind the Wings, please do.